Oh wow, would you just look at this place? What is up fighters? Welcome back to another video. Now this is another Rendler Nautica video, but we are stood outside Salisbury Hall, which is a very, very infamous place here in the north of England. And you already know I'm joined by my boy, Proven Demons. You know, up, make sure you check out his channel. He's gonna be doing something completely different to me on, on his video, but like I said last time, you have to see both videos to get the full story. What's the point in getting half a story? Watch both videos, full story. So you guys have been spamming the comments. I'm, I've been watching and I've been reading and I know what you want. We're gonna do money. We're gonna ask some money. Interactive stuff, so if you wanna be featured like these guys, make sure you leave a comment below, give me an idea, and you could be featured on the next video. Right, okay, so we're gonna do one of my exclusive pins first. So we're bringing up the Random app. Oh, yeah. um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna talk while we show this. So we need an intent. Right, I my intent is going to be money. Money? Yeah, because I've had so many comments saying just ask for money. Okay. You know, it's, it makes sense. Ask for money. So, intent is money. So, you've got to think of intent as money as well, Andrew. I am, I am right now. Money, 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 money. Wow. Oh, we got... That was pretty that quick. That was really quick. Right. Uh, uh, don't, don't move it because I, I want to be able to see it. Because a lot of people are saying try not to jump cut it. But the only reason why we were doing it is because it was taking take like forever. 10 minutes. Yeah. 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 Alright, so there was... you go. You guys saw it. I hit navigate and it's taken us to a lay-by on the side of this roundabout. Okay. Well, uh... Okay. It's apparently right there, right on the sidewalk next to this lay-by. Uh, zoom out. Let me see what that lay-by is. Yeah. That is... Oh, uh, that's... Oh, that, I know where that is. Okay, that's heading towards Leyland. Okay. Um, yeah, from Bamber Bridge to Leyland. Okay. okay, let's go and check it out. Yeah, I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm taking a lot, hell of a lot of suggestions from you guys. I'm, I'm taking it all in and I'm making the videos to how you want them. Just drop a comment right now in the comment section and I could pick that comment to be our next intent for the next video. So there you have it. Our first intent is money. What the hell are we going to find? If anything. Now I want to make this uh, uh, clear as well. Um, we have already filmed four locations tonight. Well, we've been to four locations and didn't find anything. Okay, I want to make that clear. We don't always find stuff, but obviously I'm not going to put that all in a video because it would be boring. So we only put out the things that we see and find. Okay, so if you do play this app, which I... I strongly recommend not doing but if you do play the app and you don't find anything don't be disheartened because yeah. sometimes it's taken us 10 pins before we found anything all right bro so honestly what what would you do if we pull up to this place and there's just like solid bars of gold <laughs> um I, I don't know bro i mean do we keep it do we not um don't ask stupid questions of course we keep oh, it oh, oh. of course we I keep don't it know. i'm thinking the places we could buy ourselves into with gold bars Imagine that. We, we could possibly get into the secret places in the Vatican with one of those gold bars. You think so? Oh, yeah. M money talks, especially gold. Yeah, true. True to that. All right, so it appears we are literally approaching it. In fact, it is going to be... Uh, it's going to be right on the other side of the road. You're going to have to flip around. All right, okay. I mean... It's going to be difficult to park there, but we're going to have to find someone. Yeah. In fact, no, there's a, I looked at it, there's a lay-by. There oh, is a lay-by, lay yeah, it's right off the side of a lay-by. No, I'm sure that's a slip road. Let's go around, there's nowhere to park. Let's we'll yeah, yeah. go behind the back of this, uh, the, this pub. According to this, it, it's right there, but... See, yeah, because there's no lay-by, so that's like a sit, split off that. Yeah, so you're going to have to... We'll, we'll have to park on the back of the porches. Alright, let's do it. Even my camera in this car. Right, so we have just pulled up um, at the back of Porch's car park. Oh, I see it in that place every week. Anyway, it's on the other side of here, on the main road where the carriageway is, so we've got to go and check that out now. I'm pretty sure we can get around this way. Well, there used to be a cut through anyway. Uh... Is there a cut through there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Not been down here in years. I 
Alright, whereabouts is the pin? It is literally right there. So we come up we come off and we're gonna go right. Alright, okay. Let's, Let's go. go right, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna follow this. I'll take this off now. Alright, yeah, turn right. Honestly, I have no idea what we could find. <laughs> if there's a big bag of money, I don't know, maybe we'll uh, go back to Japan and just live like kings for a month and film the best abandoned places on the planet. You already know. <laughs> could you imagine that, Andrew? Live in Japan like a king? Oh, imagine gold bars, we just buy the billionaires, man. Flat out, I wouldn't buy inside. it. You see them spiders in there, like hell I'd buy that place. Oh, you clean it out a little bit. No, you'd have to fumigate it numerous times and then yeah. still learn. I'd still be scared about living in there because I've seen the monstrous spiders inside it. Right. Not a chance. Here's, wait, I think, I think we've gone past this. Ah. Oh, KFC, yay! Oh, is there a bag of money? No, it's got a hole in the What's this? It says something on it. Is it? Yeah. Uh. It's finger looking good. All right, okay, yeah. It's, I guess it's finger looking <laughs> good. This is from the Colonel. Fire sheet. What's that? Ew. Oh, wee little. It's got money. Oh, yeah. bro, it's money. No. Is it? No, it's. Is that Monopoly money? No. What? Bro, I don't even know what that is inside there. Who the hell is. That's it funny. Is. No, no, it's definitely. Be funny. careful, be careful, you don't rip it. Yeah. It's sodden. Oh, well, this is. This appears. I mean, this one, it's got freaking. It's got Lenin's face on it. Huh? It's written in uh, Cyrillic. It's Russian money or something. It's. it's right. Sh roll it out here. We look like. You look like. Very that's... strange here. But let's just roll it all out. This looks like it's been here for some time. Bro, I, we're, on, we're literally in a kind of bad part of town looking at money. No, no, that's not a bad round here. We should just take it back to the car. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bro. There's nothing on that anywhere. Just looking to see if there's gonna a... pull up and think we just did some kind of deal or something. What, with, with what looks like Russian money? So let me look at that. It is, it's like Russian or Balkan money. Turkish, maybe. I don't know. Right, let's take it back to the car and take a proper look. That's Asian. Vietnam? What? Yeah, Vietnam. No way. So there's like a million different types of currency here. <laughs> um, maybe we should have been a bit more specific when we said money. National Bank of Cambodia. You know, it could be worth some. You could, <laughs> no way. You could probably exchange this. Who knows? Really? I right, I tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna get to the car and we're gonna take a proper look at it. I'm gonna let you guys tell me if you know anything about this currency we found. Right, back at the car. Let me uh. Oh. Turn this light on. Why is it wet? Well, it's been out. We don't know how long it's been outside for. That's why. But let's take a proper look at this. Just be careful with it. This is Arabic. Look, it's proper Arabic. I think no, it's written in Arabic, but there's Asian symbols on it. It's like a country that speaks both. Be very careful with this stuff. It almost looks like monopoly money. Yeah. How much is that worth? Look at that, it's five million summer. If, if people it's walk, five million. If people walk around with a five million dollar bill, I'm gonna tell you now, it ain't worth much. <laughs> well, I don't know. Right, so this is all the currency. Who is that anyway? Let's take a proper look at this. Right, so. Yeah, these are a uh, hundred million percent. Some kind of Eastern European money and Asian money. I'm just trying to see dates on these. I saw the one from Cambodia is from 2001. Uh, wherever that one. Is this the one from? Guys, about 2002. Oh yeah, 2002. Do you want me to Google? How much does? Yeah, it? yeah. I, uh, the five million. I'm interested. Oh, look you... at this little thing. This looks like a token of some kind. I'd like it's Chinese, Google. maybe. I'd like to Google the 5 million, but I don't know what country that is. Dinara? 
Let me find out what country it's called Dinara. This, this one's one scene. That doesn't look like very good currency. It, that definitely looks like Monopoly money. Yugoslavia. What? Really? Wait, wait, wait. Yugoslavia doesn't even exist anymore. Yugoslavia is not even a real country anymore. <laughs> that and you found five million. I'm sure I heard that yeah, on yeah, South yeah. Park once. Dinara, five. Okay, let me make sure I have the right amount of zeros. Yep, five million dinara to a uh, pound. <laughs> what was this? Be one pound. I was telling me it's. No, that's for Kuwaiti. It's the wrong kind of dinara. Oh. I don't know. Oh, so Yugoslavia dinara to pounds. Oh, we could be rich here. Well, consider considering 10,000 is worth a. What? Huh? 10,000 dinara is worth 103 Great British pounds. What does that mean for. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah, that's what it says. Hold on, let me type in 5 million. No way. Yeah. No way. 9,698. Oh no, sorry. What? No. That's weird. The highest they'll let me look up is. Oh. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, this is strange. Leave me, leave me a comment below. Do you know how much this currency is worth? Are we? Can we retire now? No, I got it. I figured it out. I hit the wrong button. Okay, Andrew hit the wrong button. Yeah, that's why I'm not president. Hit the wrong button, man. Okay. Five million Yugoslavian dinara is worth five million one hundred. Well, no, fifty-one million five hundred sixty-four thousand and thirty-one. <gasps> Bro, we're rich. But Yugoslavia doesn't exist anymore. But it doesn't matter. We're still is, rich. Is it still worth? Can I, can, wait, can you actually sell this money for something? That is worth over five, 51 million pounds. No way. That's what it said. 51 million pounds. What does this say on it? I don't even know what that says. Is this in another language? No five way. Million. What five the hell is five? worth 51 million pounds? It apparently. can't be. That's what it says. Yugoslavian dinars. Uh. You can buy a 500 dinars for seven pound 50. Really? Yeah. So it's worth money, but it seems because- But look, 500? Right there. What? That's five million. Oh man, 13 14 pounds. pounds. I can't even get a KFC with that. Yeah, cheap menu, man. Oh man, back to the grind. But, but in all seriousness, this is strange to find. I mean, we asked for money, and technically, yeah, we found money, even though it is not of our currency, which makes me think we need to really start being more specific. I'm I, telling you now. I'm really trying to contemplate one thing, though. Does that mean Yugoslavia, when it was a country, people were walking around with the equivalent of one bill being worth 51 million US no pounds? No way. No way. Well, then explain that. We looked it up. Right, okay, right now we are going to do another spot. Um, I'm going to let Andrew pick the intent for this one, you probably already know it's gonna be dark. Let's go. Well, originally my intent for for mine was gonna be haunted, but I'm gonna do that for the second one. I'm gonna try death one more time because I know that's the big scary one, the big spooky one everyone's still getting. So I'll start with death. Okay. So I'm gonna hit random knot. Um, cool, next, next, just so everyone can see. Uh, hit start and just keep thinking it. Random knot of the night will definitely be death as the intent. Oh, there we go. Super freaking quick. So, no cuts, everybody see it. Whoa. What the hell is that? It's like a building site. It is literally down an alleyway next to a building site. We're about so what what town uh, is in? It's not far man. It's just right here. In uh just outside Leyland. Alright, okay, well let's try that one. Alright. Uh let's go. Directions ahoy. Four minutes. Start. Right, let's go. I know it's taking us. Yeah, um, on the satellite it, they were um 
it was a building site, but it's not anymore. Uh, yeah, the house yeah. is, in fact, it used to be an abandoned mill here. It used to be an abandoned mill that I used to explore when I was younger. But like some of my first ever abandoned stuff I filmed was here. This is my hometown, this is where I, I, I grew up. And look, these are brand new houses. Yeah, they're definitely not building sites anymore. It's not, it's not a building site anymore. So this is going to be interesting. Yeah. And apparently... It's dead ahead. It's... Uh, what, here? I think you actually may have just gone past it. Just pull over for a sec. This still looks like a pretty dodgy neighborhood. No, it's not. I grew up here, bro. It's Baba Bridge. It's not Baba dodgy Bridge. at all. It's Baba Bridge. <laughs> All right. You ready? I'm ready. I don't know what to expect. We're deaf. Just that back up. Oh, would you just look at this though? Huh. Everyone just writes on my car. I don't know if you can see that because the light. Everyone writes on my car when it gets dirty. Well, that's a shame. Yeah. Clean your car. I'm taking it out to Car Smoke tomorrow, okay? Oh, well, you shout out a sponsor all the time. Right, this. Oh wait, no. Nope. You just gotta watch out because these are brand new houses. Yeah. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look, let's take a look at it. We're right on it. It's right in front of us. That is the pin. That's gotta it's be it. Like that. Yeah. The, ma the manhole. No, right there. I'm looking. I just told you it's right in front of us. Oh, whoa. Yeah, there's like a plastic bag there. How's that death? Let's take it over here. No. That can't be, that's just, that can't, how's that, how is that death? Before you, well, before, okay fine, I just, I'm just worried it's like somebody's property. Well, we are in the street. Then again, it's on the pin, it's screwed up, it's probably not. Everything we found is just completely ridiculous. Bust it out. Yeah, we don't half look dodgy. Of, is this one of those two hand jobs? Yeah, it is. Double hander. Oh, there we are. Oh, sick. Let me just turn this down. Whoa, whoa, yeah, it's whoa. A grave certificate. It's a grave certificate, bro. For a woman? No, that's no. That, oh, that's a death certificate. Yeah. That's a death certificate. Grave certificate, death certificate, okay. Oh, wait, it's, this is an envelope. Oh, wait, it might not have anything inside it. Hold on. Gertrude right. Robinson, deceased. Certificate copy of an entry of death. Bro, no way. No way. Widow I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm swearing. No, it's man. okay. Widow of John Robinson. Um, what, do you have a year somewhere? Oh, right. 1961. Yeah. Uh, oh, 19, yeah, 1961. Both 1961. So they go together. What? No way. No way. Come on, man. No. Come on, man. No freaking Don't tell way. Me no way. Don't no tell way. Me no way. I, bro. bro, you know that there's some asshole following us around doing this. I've been telling you from the start. There's no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that, right, look at it this way, right? If someone's following us, right? Think of it logically. They're going to have to have hundreds and hundreds of items, which has gargoyle. Sorry, I'm getting paranoid. Just make sure they don't. And I don't. I think, no, I think we're okay. We're okay. It's just a milkman. Don't worry. It's just, it's just a milkman. Um, this, this, if someone's following us around, they would have to put, they would have to have hundreds and thousands of items in their car relevant to every kind of intent you can think of. But we've seen people. <laughs> yeah, maybe so, but that could have just been someone I'm telling you, else man. filming. No, no, no. I'm uh, going to argue with you. I still kind of think that we're breaking space time and it's like maybe the people we saw were like us 10 minutes. 10 minutes before we arrived. I'm just trying to be logical. Yeah, it's like a blip. It's like a I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to think logically. I'm just trying to be the same person and I don't know if I can do it anymore because that just blows me out the, out the water. I'm not interested in that, I'm interested in this. I'm looking deeper into this. Because this is just way too out there. It is out there. Shine your light on here. I wonder if it has the cause of death. Oh, uh, occupation. Uh, widow. Retired. 
a case of death. That, is that cancer? Car carcinoma. Yeah, is that it's a form uh, of cancer? It's like lung cancer. Right, yeah, so cancer. Wait a minute. What? So it's a woman's death certificate. We got that note. She can still open her she eyes. She can still open her eyes, right? What, so she's not dead? No, that's impossible. But uh, I'm just trying to link it together. Whoa. What else did we? What else did we find that was related to a woman? Oh, related to a woman. What else have we found, guys? You might have to help us out with this one. I'm yeah. not too sure. We've been doing so many videos. I'm starting to forget. Um, um, in fact, you know, I'm actually live streaming um, this weekend on Saturday. If you uh, come over to the live stream, make sure you click the subscribe yeah, button. Yeah. Always notify. Catch me on live at 8 p.m. this Saturday, UK time. I'm gonna have all the artifacts laid out from the random autica. Make sure you set your alarm, set your bells, everything, because I'm gonna lay it all out and we're gonna go through it all properly and, and, and discuss what the hell's going on live. I'm just trying to go through this more. What's this one here? Elm Hall Street Stockport. Oh, it's not too far away. Um, high class polished coffin. Oh, it's a it's a, a um a funeral receipt. It's a funeral receipt. High class polished coffin, complete with dressing gown uh, and nickel appointments. Um, motorhurst and two cars for mourners. Provision of uh, bearers and a car f for the same. Uh, departing grave, home service, press announcement and thanks. Express. Uh, Sundries and attendance. Uh, and that was 50, <laughs> 56 pound and 13 pence. And I think that's probably going to be three shillings or something. For the oh no way for the actual funeral cost. Oh hey, what's this? It's got another note here. Again, it says uh, something with thanks, Mrs. L. Oh, it's the person who did the funeral. Fifth uh, to the ninth, nineteen sixty-one. Look at that. Only. Only fifty-six pound thirteen pence and three shillings. I'm guessing that is or three half pennies or something. Uh, I am absolutely baffled. Right, okay, fighters. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. But we're going to switch it up a little bit right now. Uh, we are going to travel for six hours down south. So right now it's almost three o'clock in the morning. We've got a six-hour drive down to London. And then we're going to meet up with some of the crew, uh, chill out for a bit. And then when the sun starts setting, we're going to head into a secret underground bunker that's hidden underneath a park in London city centre. No one's seen this for decades and decades. Probably 60 years or so. But we've got exclusive access and we're going right down there. Let's go. Wait a minute, well, I've got proven demons here. You already know he's going to come with me and make sure you check out his Our video. What's well, the condition? Me Mackey's breakfast, bro. We're driving this way. Wait, are they doing breakfast now or not? Yeah, they are. <gasps> oh, man, breakfast is open again. Suck, Oh, man, I've not had a breakfast since January. Mm. Bro, we are getting McDonald's breakfast. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Well, it's another day. Another adventure. We're meeting with the whole crew. Let's go. As far as the door comes open, I think so, bro. 
Let's have a smile, Dan. <laughs> There's your thumbnail. What the fuck? Yeah, I joined with uh, someone just out. That's a good one, that. <laughs> Massive shout out to them. And we're also joined with a secret role. Yay! Just left down on the floor, really. It's a bit fucking pee and poo on the floor, eh? Folks, what's up? That's what we're We're inside. Oh. Underground, under the park. Let's go. Right, we're going to start on the west side over here. Oh, this one's just an empty room. Okay, so this is not military. I'm going to give uh, you over to the expert, Matthew, Secret Vault, as soon as uh, he gets inside. Because he's uh, a lot more qualified to tell you than I am. Yeah, apparently this was uh, it was military, it was fire. Oh and really? I thought it was yeah. council. Yeah, so it's basically the control room, so basically when the city got bombed or whatever, they'd come out of here to go check the damage. Of oh, okay, uh, okay. okay. So this is like a relay room, um, they used to relay the information back from here to the main uh, bunker, which would have been war rooms I think where Churchill would have been to report on the damage of obviously what was going on with this place. Okay, alright. <laughs> oh. What's up man? Oh we got Sam and Jess. How you doing? Hey what's happening? Yeah, See you two in the that. toilets. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? I don't know man. Is it just droppings? I think it might be. Oh, it looks like it, it's just droppings yeah. of some, some sort. Right, well, we don't need to see the toilet. This is, I guess it's just a toilet. We're heading here. So I think this was a switchboard room, was it? Oh, an infirmary. Oh, no, no. Definitely. No, uh, yeah, switchboard room. Telecommunications room. What about the telephones here? Yeah, yeah. So they've been doing all the, obviously, radioing through, see what's happened to other places, telling people what's happened all via Morse code and other forms of uh, communication back then. As you imagine, people lined up here on their, uh, you know, doing all the Morse code, old ventilation system for in here. Obviously it's all been stripped out of there. This would have been the map room. Yeah, it this, like, like yeah, yeah. Room, so you would have, you would have had obviously map on the table here, discussing everything that's going on, relaying information through this little box here to the telecommunications room where they'd be notifying other people. It'd be like a chain. Things had happened in here, go through here, and it looks like through to the other room over there on the west. Uh, you can't see it here. Uh, there you go. Do you not find it like, like very like still in here? Can you imagine back in the day when people were hiding out in here? Everything's getting destroyed around them. The oh, yeah. sounds it must have been making, like the, the, the thudding, the rumbling of bombs. Well, you know the scary thing is this is only about what twenty meters deep. Yeah. So they could, if if you'd have had a direct strike here, yeah. it'd have oh, killed yeah. them all. This wasn't nuclear proof. This one, no. it wasn't exactly bomb proof either. Nuclear bombs didn't exist at that point. No, no. It was a race to get some nuclear bombs. But, but they had the VT, the vengeance weapons. Yeah, and, and that would have annihilated oh, this. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's crazy. It's a scary thought. Probably so, scary, man. Yeah. So although they were they were under here, they weren't safe. No. Bad enough. Oh, do you reckon that's where the map, the map yeah, yeah. used to be? Yeah. That, guys. So what we think is this was like a map room, discussions room, and then they'd go to that boxer, they'd tell all them in there, because that was the telecommunication, so then they'd relay it to other places. Yeah, yeah. So Crazy. On. Crazy history. Isn't that right, uh, Andrew? Yeah, basically this was an operation center, so in times of war or some kind of tragedy at the time, yeah, you'd have people down here organizing tasks. I would assume they probably held a map here of the local area, right? Yeah. And they could put pins in it to send people to certain places go, oh crap, there's a fire over here, mate. Yeah, yeah, so then they'd, then they'd run over here like this, oh! <laughs> Tell them we need to go over this section, they'd be going, da 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 Yep. Good thing Danny was not working back there, because he just high-fived everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's someone at the window, high-five! 
you know, you know the war rooms that had all the pins in it? Yeah. I went to one of the pins and it was actually another bunker. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. So I reckon all of those pins are probably other secret bunkers. So that means we have a ton of secret bunkers to explore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's venture out on this one. Right, we've not been in this one yet. Not sure what room this would have been, but again, you've got the old tannery boxes there. I'm pretty sure that was an old tannery box. This possibly was the last room on the chain of command, because back on the other side you had the maps, telecommunications room next door. This room, I don't know what it would have been. I'm not sure. Leave me a comment below, any of uh, bunker geeks know what this room would have been. Maybe it could have been infirmary, I don't know. Yeah, I've been down there. You've been hanging out. Just the old kitchen. Look <laughs> <laughs> okay, at that, you've got the old rectangle uh, porcelain sinks. Quite rare now, you find them in farmhouses now and again. Chance of being in there, that there's going to be residual energy still left over from the war. Well, yeah. Oh, another toilet. That's just falling down a bit. Okay, alright. We've got some stuff in here. So we've got an old locker, ventilation again. Now, this is this an old uh, hot water dispenser? Pretty sure it is. That's weird, it says on it. Yeah, uh, clean distillant. It's not much bigger than the RFC Yeah, I might have registered since then. Oh, it's an oil of some sort. Fuel. Hmm, yeah. interesting. Oh. Oh, so that's an old floor. Pretty sure. Inside there, that's an old floor, and obviously, when it's empty, it'll be at the bottom. When it's full, pretty sure that's what it was. Close that back up. It's cool to see. And this is the old generator room. Pretty big set of equipment here. Let's have a look at this engine. Made in England, obviously. Not an old tool of some sort. It's a Lister Duo. A Lister Julesy England engine. Nice looking engine. And here's the electric boxes. Nothing much to see there. Look at the old gauges. Volts, amplifiers, amplifiers, amplifiers. Where's Matthew? He's waiting outside just until someone turns up. Alright, I want to ask Matthew you want some more like information on this place. You have like faith in this build on here. Yeah, yeah definitely. Right, I'm going to head it up. It is solid concrete to refer to. Nah, if, if something had a direct impact on the top, because it's not deep enough, and because it's quite high ceiling, it would implode on itself. Mm. It'd fall in on itself. Well, it's, pretty, it's pretty scary then, isn't it? Yeah. I was just, I was just saying, um, does it, you know, did, I don't know if you heard it just then, Obviously, you can hear the cars going by, but when you get the bus, the old bus going past, you can hear that. Yeah, you can hear the vibration. Like the vibration. Yeah. But can you imagine if it was bombs dropping? Oh yeah. It'd be literally, you'd be literally like shaking. You'd be vibrating. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. That's a scary thought, man. It's a yeah. Scary. Yeah, no, well, yeah, I tell you what, even though the world is kind of crazy and mad at the moment, it's nothing compared to what it's like in the war yeah. when you have bombs dropping on your city. Not knowing if your house is going to be there when you got home. You know, crazy times right now, 
but yeah. we've got it lucky when you think about it. We've got it very lucky. That's the problem in the world is many of the people who are writing at the moment, although the, the, they believe they're writing for a good cause, they're actually just writing for writing's sake and looting and destroying for destroying's sake. It's, it's just kind of like a, a mass thing. Once some people do it, it just becomes that mass, yeah, it kind of trends. And, and that's the problem is they don't realise how lucky they've got it. Yeah, there's a lot of problems still in the world that need addressing and they need sorting out. You know, equality needs to be tightened and, and obviously improved, but they don't realise how well they've got it, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's I mean, these, these, we talk about people in here who are literally fighting for, fighting for our freedom, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Putting their necks on yeah, the exactly. to save others, do you know what I mean? To save Crazy. the future to come. Yeah. Madness. I've got respect for that, 100%. Yeah, no, I just... It, the, the right thing has annoyed me because there's a lot of people who are losing their businesses, you know, they're getting their livelihoods they're destroyed. Local That's the problem, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fair enough. Fair, you know, you're to I'm, against the government, but you're I'm all for local protest. Local. Yeah. I, you know, I'm all for protest. That's it's, it's the beauty of living in a free world. But when you're destroying things and stuff, it's not getting your message across. It's just destruction. They're doing it in the complete wrong way. Yeah, exactly. Hate with hate exactly. Violence. It's not the way to do it. It's not the way to do it. And the problem is, it takes the whole message away from from what they're trying to push. Yeah, you know, because then it just becomes just mere violence and destruction. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry if anyone disagrees with that. If anyone is into the right and stuff, but it's just it's not right. It really isn't. Um, you know, people are having a life that was destroyed. People are having to. Uh, stay up at night and, and defend their own business from destruction. I mean, what kind of world is that? Yeah, at the moment, it's the 8th of June, and over the past few days, it's been non stop riots. Um, nothing but mass destruction. Yeah, it's, it's quite fresh right now. When you're seeing this, it'll be probably, well, I'm hoping it's going to be well over by then. Yeah, Danny, we pass, we grab this. Nice one, bro. Bye. Yeah, so we obviously I didn't know any information when I went down there, but on the far right, mm -hmm. on the east side, um, I, I imagine that to be the map room. Yeah, there were a lot of lights around the edges of the room, which looked yeah. like they would have been shining down. On and the there was obviously an imprint of uh, something big and rectangular was on the wall. Yeah, yeah. So I think that was the end room, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, middle room would have been telecommunications. Yes, with little holes in the yep. walls yep. to pass messages back and forth. Yeah, and what would be on the far west side of, of the bunker? Right, well, the last room. The furthest end, you've got the engine room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've in got between that one. there, then you've got probably typists, radio, and telephone and other type of comms, you know, and stuff like that. So yeah. it would have been a control room, and they would have been passing messages to the typists, who yep. then would have been typing it up. Type messages go to the radio and telecoms room, and then they relay those down the wire, yep. either through telex or voice. So what would have been in the last room? It could have been like the base commander's room, like a right. private room for All oh, right, okay, yeah, and yeah. also they had to have somewhere to sleep, so I didn't see any accommodation. Mm, yeah, I didn't see any beds or anything. So they would have had a sleep room, which would have been on rotation. Right, okay. So, so, so there wouldn't have been like an infirmary down there? They could have had a small infirmary, but the thing is, this was more control for the police, the hospitals, the fire service, and uh, the army. Okay. Reporting out what was going on, so those guys could get to wherever needed to go to put out fires, to do whatever, to get the hospital treatment. So they would probably send you to a hospital rather than bringing you here, because this wasn't somewhere that they would treat people. Okay. They would get the treatment to come to you or get you to then go get to a hospital. All right, okay. Yeah. Yo boys, right, so it's going to be a long night for us because we have more than one location. We've just done that one, which is like a mini filler. The next one we're going to is one of the biggest in London. It is the proper underground London. Power's still on, apparently. Yeah. Who's ready for this? We're going well, I've been ready for this for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> this first, you can tell how excited Danny is. It's first time in London, everyone. <laughs> first, time, first time in London. Anyway, we've got a long, long night ahead of us. Uh, wish us luck. Matthew yeah. Williams. They, they're gonna need it. Yo. Yeah. Okay. So that tree's the entranceway. So we was just sat down there in my in my Beppo. For, well, um, let's put it. My my tramp jacket. We have a, a name in Wales like Beppo. It's tramps. Yeah. So anyway, I was like Mr. Beppo, and we were like so. And my mate was pretending to smoke a spliff, and then. Um, 
Yeah, basically, we just... Like, oh, I can't tell you this, though, can I? I can't actually tell you this story. <laughs> you can't tell us. I can't tell you this story. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's just, let's just truth. say that he's, a, he's, he's the Houdini of doors and managed yeah, to right, open okay, a door. This is the, this I, I like is a the, midget story. This is the official story, right? This is the allowed story, right? We turned up to this place, right, and we I've been there three times before. People have said to me, oh yeah, it's easy to get in and all this sort of stuff. And we're like, go up there, it's, it's all locked. And anyway, we went up this, this this time, and the door was like pulling open like that, like that. And I just went like that, and the door came open. So I think somebody left it open, left it ajar. We went in there, you pull it closed, just lightly closed, and it goes ka-chunk, the pin goes through, it's locked, it's tight, so you don't get any of that gap. So it was going like that which is a bit like my sphincter when we were actually sitting outside there earlier on trying to go in but um, yeah once we got in there and we had a good look around I put a piece of paper in the door so that when we come back that little pin can't, can't lock anymore so that piece of paper is holding it out so if nobody's been in there today the paper should still be in there when we open it the paper's going to drop out we're in close the door job done do you, you do realize has, has anyone ever called you a genius because you are a sub genius <laughs> Is it true you're a reverend minister? I am actually. I'm a reverend minister of the Church of the Subgenius. And we believe in eternal salvation by paying £30 to the, the church. And then when the end of the world comes, we're going to be on the pleasure saucers up there watching the earth be destroyed from space. But we'll have loads of um, uh, pleasure virgins looking after us on the, on the saucers. It'll be really good. $30 is not a lot to pay for eternal salvation. Bro. Or triple your money back. That, uh, take, take my wallet. Take my wallet. Praise Bob. Praise Bob. Right, one's pass him your wallet. I won't give you wallet. <laughs> yeah, it's a comedy church. <laughs>